What's up, my beautiful Scorpios? What's up, twins? And welcome back to part two, okay? So we're going to tap more into your divine masculine, okay? And we know that they were dealing with a karmic and a family dynamic, okay? So Scorpio, before I get started, I was looking at a couple of cards, right? And remember we said in part one, your twin knew they messed up, but they blamed you, okay? So I feel like, Scorpio, whatever happened between your twin and that karmic, that your, the karmic made the twin feel like it was their fault, okay? So whatever they happened, they blamed your twin as well. Like I said, projecting. Your twin was projecting on you. So whatever happened in this situation with this karmic, Scorpio, your twin projected all of that stuff onto you. And I feel like a lot of you guys, you did not know that, okay? This karmic was telling your twin whatever it was that they wanted to hear so they can get whatever they wanted to get. Okay, so if this karmic wants to get money, sex, whatever it was from your twin, they would just tell them, Yeah, I love you, I want to be with you, just so they can get whatever they want to hear. Okay, they just get whatever they wanted. Okay, I feel like a lot of you guys, okay, so these cards fell out as well. Okay, so. We have, I know I took way too long to give you an apology and make things right, okay? And the reason for some of you why your divine masculine took their time giving you this an apology is because they thought that you were wait on them, Scorpio, okay? So this is that run and chase a dynamic. It was like your twin would run, you would chase them. You know what I'm saying? That boosted your twin's ego also when you chase them because a lot of them, they didn't feel like Scorpio. They was even worse you chasing Scorpio. That's how low self-esteem your twin had at that time. When you was chasing them, that boosted their self-esteem. They was like, man, I ain't seen nobody like Scorpio would chase me and some of you guys maybe you didn't even feel at that time you was at your best or you was at the place Scorpio where you want to be but something your twin saw something Scorpio within you okay all right then we have the karmic is watching me like a hawk okay so some of you guys this is why your twin who excuse me has not reached out to you okay because it's karmic watching them for some of you this karmic knows about you and they know your twin wants to talk to you okay and they watching them like a hawk so they can't reach out okay and I feel like your twin has had a lot of sleepless nights. One about this connection. Two of you guys are in separation because they don't want to be in separation. Three, they can't talk to you because the dog on karmic. You know what I'm saying? Watching them. And four, you know what I'm saying? They're thinking about everything that happened in this connection, okay? So we're going to pull from the karmic tale. And we're going to see what's going on. And then toward the end, we'll pull from the awakened soul. We're going to see what your twin's awakened soul wants to say about this connection, okay? All right. Give me some messages from this karmic, okay? Remember I said, you guys, whatever happened in this connection, I feel like your twin was projecting that situation they had with that karmic into the situation that they had with you, Scorpio. If anything resonates, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, if you're interested in a person, Scorpio, don't forget to check out my description box, but also check out my community board, okay? Some messages for the karmic spirit. All right, we have, I watch tarot and I get readings too, okay? So, Scorpio, this karmic watches tarot. I feel like they watching tarot about you. They watching tarot about your twin, trying to see what's going on in this connection, okay? And this person has been getting readings, Scorpio, or I feel like has been trying to get readings about you. Messages for my Scorpios. Ooh, this one came out. This is over here. All right, let's go again, Scorpio. That's why I put titles ooh, on my cards. I want to make sure what I was pulling from. All right. I see you. This came out the other day. I see you doing real good for yourselves, but you would never have your so-called twin, Scorpio. Some of you guys, like I said, divine feminists, you about to be doing some, some major things in this world. Like I said, your twin, the karmic, and everybody about to be watching you. But they still feel like, shit, whatever I can do, I'm going to keep your twin stuck. And he's only runs to you and we're having problems. Yeah, your twin was someone that was in and out, okay? And I feel like whenever the tw your twin and this karmic one getting along, that's when you will see them, Scorpio. You know, they'll love bomb you and all of this. And as soon as they make up with this karmic, Scorpio, that's when your twin will ghost you. You wouldn't hear from this person. Y'all will make plans. This person never show up because they was bad fooling with this dog on karmic. All right, tell us more, spirit. Tell us what my Scorpio's on this twin flying journey. I know he's trying to push me away. Yeah, that's why this karmic horse is said. That's why this karmic is trying to watch your twin like a hawk because she feel that energy, okay? He or she, you know what I'm saying? They feel the energy of your twin trying to push them away so they can come to you, Scorpio, so that they can reach out and communicate, you know, communicate to you, okay? Give me some more messages from my Scorpio. Tell us more about the situation. 
All right, then we have being with me is easier. I don't have any expectations, okay? So, I feel like Scorpio, you know what I'm saying? You expected your twin to treat you right, to call you back, to do whatever it is that they made promises or said they was going to do. But see, dealing with this karma, they didn't care because they was making promises to your twin saying they was going to do this and going to do that, and they weren't doing it either. So, it was like a mind game. I feel like for a lot of you guys, your twin played mind games with you, but guess what? They was projecting on you. This karma was playing the same mind games with them, okay? We don't have sex anymore. Okay, Scorpio, for some of you guys, your twin dealing with this karma, they ain't having sex with them. They ain't, they want you, Scorpio, but since you ain't having sex with them, they're like, shit, they know they don't get satisfied with that karma. I get disgusted every time I look at them. Look at this karma. She can't stand it. Like, she done, this karma done projected so much on this, on your twin. Like, they just done broke them down so much. They just disgusted. Like, they don't want to have sex with them. They just disgusted. They looking at them. They probably, if they stay together, they probably need to say sleep in the same bed. You know what I'm saying? They sleep in two separate beds here. And then for some of you, this karma says that they still love your twin, okay? And they refuse to let them go. So by any means necessary, Scorpio, this karma is going to try to keep your twin stuck. Then we have, we are binding together financially, okay? So they can have some properties or some land or something, some type of legal bonding agreement where both of their names are on there. So for some of you guys, if your twin is married to this karma, you know, they got to go to court. They got to finalize all this stuff, split that stuff in half and all of this. So this is going to be a long process, okay? And your karmic, this karmic and your twin, they argue every day, Scorpio, and I feel like a lot of their arguments are about you. You know what I'm saying? So, let's pull from this awakened soul. They're, they arguing about you, Scorpio, because what was that? I feel... Ah, what was it that? I don't know. He, yeah. They arguing about you every day, Scorpio, because this karma feels your twin trying to push them away. So they like, oh, you just trying to push me away so you can go be with Scorpio. And you just trying to do this. You don't want to be here because you want to go be with Scorpio. Like, everything they do, they like, oh, you just doing that because you want to be with Scorpio. Like, that's crazy. All right, message from my Scorpio. I love you, Scorpio. If anything resonated, you guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right, Scorpio, so your twin is saying they are determined to make this right, okay? So whatever they got to do, Scorpio, they got to walk away from this karma because they got to leave all type of karma situations alone, Scorpio. That's exactly what they're going to do. I'm saving myself for the right person, Scorpio. I feel like that's your energy. A lot of you guys could be celibate. You know, you just waiting for the right man, the right woman to come along so that you can get that good love until you know what I'm saying? And then we have, I had to teach you how to love me. So for some of you guys, you feel like pulling away from your twin, you know what I'm saying? Or when you pulled away, or when you pull away from your twin, you're basically teaching your twin how to love you because you're teaching them, I'm not going to chase you. Like, if you're going to be with me, you're going to do right by me, and you're going to treat me right. You know what I'm saying? All right, Scorpio, that's all I have. I love you, Scorpio, and stay blessed.